What is up? I'm Moana Turtle, and today we have a mail day as well as a small Yu-Gi-Oh opening. Uh, first off, I just want to say that uh, thank you to everyone that wished me that I get well uh, over the weekend. Um, yeah, just haven't been feeling so good the last over the, the the holiday weekend. So actually, my holiday plans were kind of shot. Uh, but I did get a lot of rest, drank a lot of water. A lot of people said, um, and I am feeling better. Uh, so thank you all for best wishes from everyone and hope to see you guys on stream tonight uh, as we practice for the players cup and all right so what do we have today we'll start first talk about our opening we're gonna be yeah some people said it's been so long since you've done a Yu-Gi-Oh opening so it is time we got two of these boxes the legendary duelist season one so my understanding is this kind of like a new series and obviously this is season one of it um called legendary duelist so my understanding is that these are gonna be a bunch of iconic cards from the shows and i think you know so you'll see a lot of very specific themes in here uh with joey or pegasus like looks like there's gonna be some so it should be interesting we'll get into these in a little bit all right so we have a bunch of sealed products that we're going to go over uh very along the same exact lines for those boxes is we have a case of these so you know what this is uh it's kind of difficult for how, what to do for Yu-Gi-Oh! seal collection um you know buying one booster box a lot of like vendors actually doesn't qualify for free shipping and you know maybe i'll open i could probably do like two of each and i'll open one on channel but uh these ones i think they they are cheap enough where i can get like a wholesale case which i'd rather have a sealed case of booster boxes is pretty expensive though um so i like the fact that this guy is a sealed case so we did pick up a case of that let's move over to magic the gathering we got a couple new pickups so core 2021 just came out uh these packs are super loaded i think like a lot of the price of the cards are dropping really fast as a result plus you know there's no irl events um so very tempted to open this but we're gonna keep it sealed but we got a few of these to add to our collection all right this one is mixed emotions or no very negative emotions so we got an, our secret layer theros stargazing so some backstory here i ordered this back in february uh, so mid-February is when I purchased it, and it took almost five months for them to get this to me. Uh, so Wizards kind of had an idea, like, you know what, we'll, we'll try to make up to you guys. We'll give you... What happened was they gave everyone a Theros Collector's Booster Box to compensate. And then they said, oh, by the way, that was a mistake. We only meant to give you one pack. So obviously, people didn't take that very well. And then I opened my box, and it was like, finally... There was nothing inside. I was so upset. Needless to say, I sent a very unhappy email to Wizards, which I'm assuming will just be ignored based on what other people's experience was. Uh, and I bought multiple sets. So we have, we're all used to show one box, but we have all five volumes and multiple sets of them. And then I heard some reports that the cards were super curled. Even some of them had the Planeswalker missing. So I think in a future video, we're going to open one set of these just to make sure we actually have our planeswalkers because if not then we have to send another email to wizards uh, luckily we will record the entire thing but all right that's the magic side of things as far as our mail day and uh all right well turtles this is primarily a pokemon channel where are the pokemon cards all right so pwcc did have their latest auction not too long ago we finally got our cards in man the prices have gone up so much that as a result I only won, I think, two auctions, and they're not very high. This is this is going to be nothing too crazy. Um, I feel like I'm my the amount that I'm willing to pay for stuff has not been able to keep up with the insane surge of prices as of late. So as a result, we only have a couple cards. Uh, yeah, to be honest, I was pretty underwhelming. I kind of just set my prices when I'm willing to pay for everything. Went to bed and woke up and was like, oh, that's it. But we do have some PSA slabs. Looks like we only have two. I think they are like Watsy ones though. All right, so only two. They're not tens. What we got? Uh, a Jungle Unlimited Snorlax. You know what? I I do like PSA seven now, Watsy, because I say this a lot uh, when it comes to anything that's like Watsy PSA ten. I don't know. I it has to go be hidden away somewhere safe 
But this guy I don't mind leaving out, you know, for if I wanted to display PSA slabs like behind me, for example, I don't mind using this for, for stuff like that. And then our other one is, ooh, okay, not too bad, Polyrath 9. Um, sometimes people ask me what is a good thing to buy into. I think Base Set 2 is the most, in my opinion, underrated, but it's like universally underrated there everyone is on the same page as far as this set is not that good but as far as getting the oldest stuff you can for a very good price i think it's base set two uh, will the price go up i mean everything will go up over time this guy this set has never had a nice surge in price i have no idea i'm not even saying it'll maybe it'll never happen but if you want something that is rare mint and old i feel like you can't do in bang for the buck i feel like you can't do much better than base set two so there we go we do have some psa slabs and uh yeah so that's primarily it for the mail day we're gonna get into this opening uh actually one last thing i want to mention is we have some news on the patreon side first off huge shout out to everyone that supports on patreon i really appreciate that uh we're going to be starting a new thing there i'm I think i'm gonna call it from the turtle vault uh kind of like a magic the gathering uh, spin on them uh, so what will happen is basically I will be you can purchase some some prize parts of my collection and uh, Yeah, well, you know, basically you're supporting me on there So we'll probably drop from like typical eBay price, you know another like five ten percent and shipping will be included as you know We really kind of use that patreon fee for shipping and you can expect pretty cool products I, you know, I, I had this laying around it's like all right You know what this might be something that we'll probably have on there in the near term so actually just check out the Patreon page. Uh, it is a public um, post on Patreon. So check that out if you want to hear the details. And uh, all right, that's gonna be it. Let's get into our opening. All right, Yu-Gi-Oh! Man, it's been, I don't remember the last, I think the last set we opened in Yu-Gi-Oh! Was it Magician's Force? I can't remember if it was that or the Gold Sarcophagus. Actually, I still have some Gold Sarcophagus which I can open, but uh, Actually, um, so we have Pegasus and Joey. I don't think I took a look at TCG player. There's nothing too crazy to be had in here. I think the the most expensive card is like the Millennium Eyes Restrict. So obviously that's a Pegasus card. Although I don't even think that had that. Um, they had the Thousand Eyes Restrict. So Millennium. I think that's more one of a newer card, but obviously it's Pegasus themed. All right, and it's this is a pretty big box. All we got is two season one packs one double-sided art card and one of seven secret rare variants let's see what we got okay weird packaging this almost reminds me of like a one of those mystery boxes it's very strange you know you kind of just reach in there grab a bunch of stuff and it's mostly empty we have a ancient gear fusion and then ooh, man do i even want to i'm wondering if i would keep this sealed but we do see a blue eyes tune dragon uh Let's just open it. Blue Eyes Toon Dragon and ah oh, Maximilian Pegasus. All right, so you get some kind of character card, and I'm guessing you can piece together a full picture. I'm not sure what that is. It kind of reminds me of oh, it's a Gear Golem, Ancient Gear Golem above it. So pretty interesting. And then we have our Ancient Gear Fusion, and let's just crack open this box as well. Then we'll open up the packs. Yeah, this packaging is. It, it feels, I don't open like mystery boxes, but this just feels very similar to opening them. All right, then we got two more packs. And okay, we got some um, Dark Magician, Toon Magician, and that looks like a Red Eyes. Gear Freed, okay, very cool. I like Gear Freed, uh, Gear Freed wasn't that good. I feel like he wasn't that strong. Like he had the ability where he could not have equipment attached to him and not sure why that's useful. Very few attachments, at least back in the day. You don't really attach them to your opponents. I guess there's a couple. And we got a, was it Weevil, right? Weevil Underwood. All right. Oh, I like these. I like these character character things. Pegasus and Weevil. And then Gear Freed, the Red Eyes Iron Knight. You put these over here. And let's get into these packs. Looks like there's, feel like there's a good amount of cards in there. But yeah, hope everyone had a good week, especially if you're in the U.S. Hope you had a fun and safe holiday. 
Ooh, Barrel Dragon. Oh, this brings back memories. Like, I, the show, this thing in the show could attack three times, it's nonsense. But uh, this one, you flip three coins, you get two, you just destroy monster. Never pulled it from Metal Raiders, but I always liked the idea of playing that. Amazonist Princess, some, uh, my, my Valentine Love, Crystal Conclave from GX, Red Eyes Fusion. Ooh, oh. Ancient Legendary Ocean. Was it Maki? Is his name Maki? Something? All right, so they got this new thing where there's different kind of rares where it's like purple, green, and blue, I think. Very strange. Um, I think all the prices are about the same. I think purple might be the highest. We got a Rainbow Over Dragon from the Crystal Beast. Rainbow Bridge. We got green again. Nelfi Ra Nelfi Rabby. I'm not sure where that's from. It's like the regular color. Legendary Fisherman 2. Ancient Gear Catapults. Mammoth. Ooh, Toon Summon Skull. That's a cool one. Malefic Red Eyes Black Dragon. Toon Goblin Attack Force. Is this a special one? Nope. Goblin Attack Force was a pretty, really cool card. Basically, uh, you can, I think you can attack, but then he stays in defense position, I think. Ooh, Toon Dark Mage. I wish this was a hollow. And then Rainbow Gravity. Ooh, last one is Rainbow Dragon Chick. All right, so it seems like you get like three hollows. Again, I'm not sure exactly what the chase cards are here. But it's cool just to, especially if it's uh, classic Yu-Gi-Oh or GX car season, seasons or shows I've actually watched. It's just really cool. Corrosive Scales. Is this for? Uh, looks like uh, some bug stuff. Mega Roid City. Cyber Dark Claw. Toon Gemini Elf. I didn't buy any Toon Chaos, so it's kind of cool to see these cards. Now let's check. Cyber Dark Impact. Rainbow Dark Dragon. That's cool. Manga Ryuran, that's from, ooh, all right, here we go. Crystal Beast, all right, here we go. Metal, Heavy Metal Raiders. We have, looks like blue, hmm. I think I like the blue and the green. Both of those are pretty cool. Citadel Whale, Curse of Dragon. Oh, that's, that brings back memories. Very underwhelming card, Curse of Dragon, or like the regular Curse of Dragon, 2000 attack for a someone sacrifice. Uh, imagine this has some pretty cool abilities. Let me make sure everything's in screen. All right, then a rare value. Ooh, we got a turtle, guys. Emerald turtle. Oh my gosh, there's a tomb barrel dragon. <laughs> another barrel dragon and another princess. All right, two more packs. We'll probably go a little bit faster. All right, Vicroid Mobile Base, Alligator, Faceless, ah, we got that old turtle again. Crystal Beast, Emerald Tortoise, love it. Toon Defense, ooh, all right, so we got a purple rares, and it seems like you get two of the same color. So a purple of the red eyes, and then another heavy metal raiders. So we got purple and blue, and then a regular Fairy Kairu Sheen. Don't know anything about that. Summon Skull, Red Eyes, a Dark Dragon. Alright. Turn of the Red Eyes. Toon Buster Blader, that's cool. Then Red Eyes, Darkness, Metal... Oh, this one sounds familiar. Do you need, like, the Metal Morph or something? Alright, guys, last pack. Can we find that Millennium Eyes Restrict? That should be pretty cool. That, some of that stuff that Pegasus had, the mechanics were pretty... Sounded pretty busted. I think that's one of the more popular decks. You could just use scapegoats and then use that to sacrifice for them. Toon Dark Magician. Ah, uh, Thousand Eyes Restrict. Crystal Beast Amber Mammoth. Black Stone Mixeroid. This was probably one of the least cool archetypes from the show, the GX show. Relinquish. Ah, oh, we got the Eyes Restrict and the Relinquished. Come on, come on. Crystal Bond Green. Actually, I think it's one of the one of the better cards. Relinquished Fusion. Oh no, I wanted the Ooh, Machina Res Avenger. I'm not even sure what I'm looking at. But looks pretty cool. Alright, we got a keel. And oh, gear golem. 
All right, so that's gonna be it. Ah, it feels actually it feels good to be opening up some Yu-Gi-Oh again. Uh, we did order the upcoming set Armageddon. We did order a box of that. So if you do enjoy Yu-Gi-Oh videos, we're gonna have some more in the near future. But uh, yeah, thanks for watching, everyone. Thank you for all the support here on YouTube, Patreon, Twitch, all the above. Um, yeah, that's gonna be it for me today. Like, comment, and subscribe all down below. I'm Moana Turtle. I'll catch you guys next time.